Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. I like the other one better because it also helps to get pressure on pass plays. But you can see, I mean, these, these stretch plays are getting wiped out. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. Got another defensive play for you today. Today we're in the New England Patriots playbook. And the reason for that is simple. The New England Patriots is one of the few defensive playbooks that has 4-3 plays as well as 3-4 plays. There's not a lot of playbooks that have that. I think maybe the Panthers uh, might be the only other one that has that. Uh, but even they don't necessarily have this combination of plays. Uh, the plays I'm going to show you, like I said, they're out of the 4-3. Uh, I recently find myself using a lot of 4-3 playbooks by, not by choice. I play a lot of draft champions. If you choose like the Niners or, or the Raiders or the Saints, which are some of the better offensive playbooks, you end up with 4-3 defenses. So I came up with a pretty good run defense, uh, which used to be a really good uh, blitz, a really good pass defense back in the day. But EA kind of kind of nerfed this play. And that play is the FS Fire 3. I'm also going to show Show a very similar setup out of the cover through hard flat. So you have two plays in a scheme uh, that's a little bit, one's a little bit better of a pass defense, one's a little bit better of a run defense. So like I said, a lot of times this play kind of sets itself up on its own if you're not great with adjustments. I would say one of the better adjustments to do though, I would definitely say pinching the defensive line is one of the more important adjustments. I'm going to set this defense up a lot like my 4-4 defense that I put out. That's still one of my favorites. But you can see, just by pinching that defensive line, I have, you know, three linebackers in the box plus the safety. It looks just like a 4-4 defense, uh, which is pretty much the look I'm going for here. I'm trying to stack the box because when people are running counters religiously, when they're running whatever run play they're running, really, this is, to me, one of the better ways to do it. Blitzing, doing an all-out blitz doesn't typically help. But doing something like this where you're at least stacking the box, um, you know, maintaining these inside run lanes by pinching this defensive line, they're going to make sure that nothing really comes up the middle. So then I really have to worry about the outside. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to put this outside linebacker on a blitz. Like I said, I want him I want him not too close to the line because I'm going to QB contain these guys to make sure that they contain this edge. I want them to be able to uh, stack and hold the edge as well as possible. And that's what the QB contains for. I also want to make sure the safety is in that QB contain. Now, on a play like this, it's a little bit easier because there's no, um, you know, there's no blocker on this side. He's going to come in free. Uh, but, you know, this is pretty much going to be the look. So I only have five guys in zone. That's why I said this is more of the pass defensive look. I'm going to show you, a, I'm sorry, the run defensive look. I'll show you a pass defensive look out of this. It's going to look just like this. It's going to be a pretty good run defense as well. But ultimately, this is pretty much the setup. So it's going to much run this a few times. Hopefully, I can get some stretches and some tosses and stuff like that. If, if not, I'll have to pick them because that's kind of what this defense is meant to be. And you can see right there, we get a lot of trickery, but you can see how the safety is outside waiting for the outside run. I'm going to go to the replay real quick um, to show exactly how that happened. Uh, because, like I said, that's the really, that's really the job here. So he, he's going to maintain this outside edge. This safety is kind of the all-star. Even though he kind of gets blocked here, you can see he's still doing his job. Uh, and if, if there was, I mean, the user has to pick up this gap here. And I was, I, I got to be honest, I was confused by all the trickery. The very first play, he's running like a, a double end around. I, I bit on the regular, uh, the regular run. But you can see how the safety still is out here to make the play at the end of the day. That's really his job. And he maintains that edge exactly like I want him to. Now, if you make your adjustments, I'm spreading my linebackers, by the way. If you make your adjustments too soon, a lot of times the safety will drop back. It's kind of annoying. So, you know, if you put your user on that safety before you make your um, your defensive adjustments, he won't move. That's one thing that, I, that I've learned uh, that Madden 20 likes to do for some reason is is readjust your, your safety. So just just beware that. It's something that I don't I don't know. They need to fix it. But either way, so like I said, this is the look. Once again, we got our 4-4 look. We got six guys coming in, two guys maintaining the edge. The pinch is supposed to take away any inside runs. So I don't really have to do too much. This should do most things by itself. You can see once again, I mean, they ran that, that end around again, and the safety is still making the play. Uh, I don't know why they keep running that. Like I said, soon I'm going to have to pick a, uh, a good play by myself, <laughs> a good uh, a good run defense myself. So here we go one more time. Like I said, we got everything that we want. If I'm if it's going to be a play like this, I can also bring the safety down and use the safety as well. Uh, but I have to make sure that to get back if that's the case. So I can't just, you know... As you can see right here, a little bit of trickery. There's just nothing there. I mean, that's the point. I'm not doing much as a user. There's just no run lanes. So I went ahead and I backed out and I picked um, uh, this, this is the best stretch play I could find. 
So we're going to set up this defense the exact same way. Like I said, if you wait to keep it contained until you make all your adjustments, it'll get them in properly. Uh, and then I don't know why my linebacker's in so close that I can't even find them. <laughs> but there we go. So like I said, this is going to be the play. Uh, stretch plays are probably the things that give people the most trouble. And you can see, I mean, once again, that QB contain got in the way. You know what I mean, that's that's the point of the QB contain. He's going to maintain that outside, even though he didn't make the play. That's the whole point of the QB contain. As you can see right here, this guy right here, he just gets in the way enough. Even I mean, he does a great job of pushing back the blocker that it's going to interrupt the play. It's going to interrupt outside runs. That's the whole point of the QB contain. And the, the, the pinch and size is all about taking away inside runs. Everything after that is up to the user, so you have to use it correctly uh, to fill those gaps. But it at least eliminates them and makes, them, makes you know what the gaps are. To me, this is a pretty simple setup. Um, the hardest part, like I said, if you're not on the safety uh, when you make your first adjustment, um, he'll run back. That's the thing. Uh, if you really want to kick this up a notch too, you can bring the safety down. If you do that, you know you can you can bring these linebackers out. If you know your opponent's going to be hitting a lot of stretches, you can have them out, get them a little bit of a head start. And if you're using the safety, it just gives you an extra guy to fill the holes. And you can see right here, I mean, using the safety is probably one of the better ways to play defense this year as far as run defense. Uh, I know you guys have seen that. Um, in most of my best run defenses, I'm typically using the safety. So to me, this defense is all about the alignment. And I can get that exact same alignment with the cover three hard flags. You can see the safety comes down the same way. So let's go and let's pick that. We'll do the exact same play on offense that we were doing. Uh, although, like I said, this is a little bit better of a coverage pass defense. But we'll pick the halfback stretch one more time. Like I said, exact same setup. You can see the safety's in the box. I'm just going to bring him down to mirror that same look. And because they're on hard flats, hard flats do a pretty good job of, uh, of taking away uh, outside run lanes as well. They do a pretty good job of playing down to the point where they'll get in the way of a run play. But like I said, this is, I mean, you can see right there, same thing, same look. Uh, they're both really good run defenses. And like I said, it's the exact same look. So your opponent's not really going to know what they're looking at as far as, I mean, they'll know they're both cover threes. So they'll know that. But they won't know necessarily if it's the blitzing variety or if it's the hard, you know, the hard flat variety uh, until after the play. So you can see right here, once again, the hard flat did the job there. I was just, you know, I wasn't Johnny on the spot. But you can see how um, I don't have to do much. That's the thing. Like, these defenses are meant for people that aren't really good at run defense to kind of take care of most of it for you. So let's go and let's do this one more time. Like I said, I'm only running the stretch play. I know the play is coming. You see, once again, hard flats. Like I said, hard flats are very good at stopping edge runs. Uh, they're also really good in cover twos. I wish I had this type of setup in a cover two look, but it doesn't really work that way because I have eight in the box. But hard flats, when it comes to cover twos, uh, also do a really good job of uh, taking away those run lanes. So go ahead and run this one more time. Like I said, I'm not. I'm trying not to do anything, but you can see uh, the, the, the hard flats doing just as good a job as cutting off that outside run as the QB contain is. Because you can see right here, this guy right here, he's the star of the play. He's not even that great of a defensive. Uh, you know, I don't even have a great linebacker on this defense. Cobb, no, he's all right. He's not like an overpowering defensive player. But you can see he's just constantly getting outside and making this play. And like I said, that's the hard flat doing that. Uh, on the other side, uh, obviously, you know, McCourty's a lot weaker. Um, he gets controlled a little bit. Um, so that might be, you know, you definitely want some strength. Uh, he's more of a coverage uh, safety than anything. But you can see how, I mean, this is just, you know, that's just that's just insane. There's nowhere to run. I mean, the, the play, the whole entire play flows to this side. I have me as a free defender, here's a free defender. It's just, it's all over the place. So I can't even say, I mean, this one here, because of the hard flats, this is probably as good a run defense as the first play. I couldn't say for sure which one I think is the better of the two. Um, I just know that the, uh, I like the other one better because it also helps to get pressure on pass plays. But you can see, I mean, these, these stretch plays are getting wiped out. It's a really good defense. So, and I'm not doing anything to really stop it. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just doing, I'm pinching, I'm spreading. This one's definitely easier too for people that aren't good at making adjustments because I don't have to, I don't have to blitz that outside linebacker. I don't have to keep it contained. All I'm doing is pinching and spreading and that's it. We're already lined up. I think sometimes too, you could also put these guys on a keep it contained um, to help them get to the edge as well. As you can see right here, they, they play the edge a little bit better when they're keeping contained. But uh, that's not 100% necessary. So just pinch, spread, bring the safety down into his position, and the, the play's set up. And then I just bring my my, uh, my user down, and that's it. So like I said, really easy play. It's shutting down a really top run play uh, all by itself. 
and uh, I'm really not doing anything uh, other than just watching the play get stopped. So that's it. That's the vid. Uh, if you guys want to see more defenses out of the Patriots or more run defenses, more pass defenses, whatever, let me know in the comments section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.